Hello friends and welcome to another Pauper League. Today we're going to be playing with more Swamps. Got a different style though to uh, from the deck we were playing last time. Um, we're really focusing on land destruction this time. Um, so we've got copies of Choking Sands, Ice Quake, and Rancid Earth to be blowing up the opponent's lands. Um, we can actually do this as early as turn one if we're on the draw with a Dark Ritual, but um, easy to do on turn two with a Peat Bog Swamp or a Peat Bog Radiant Fountain. Um, we can blow up their early lands uh, and then we can really capitalize on our advantage with the Torch and the Crown, or at least that's the plan. We've got a bunch of removal to take care of any threats that are deployed early, and then um, we'll just basically try to win with the with the initiative. Um, Gurmag Angler can also finish the game pretty quickly uh, if it's allowed to stay on the board. Um, yeah, pretty excited to give this list a try. This is something that I built after I saw the uh, the deck that finished us off in the league where we were playing uh, the more, more, more uh, mono-black control with the um, Colony Gardens. So... Yeah, I've been playing a little bit in the tournament practice room. It seems pretty good. Um, there's definitely a couple weaknesses, though. If, um, for example, <laughs> uh, I was playing against Mono Black um, Burn, and um, they have this creature that's you know unblockable, can't uh, can't block the uh, the Changeling Outcast, and that was just a nightmare against uh, Initiative and Monarch. Let's hope that nobody else has picked up on that. This hand looks great, we'll keep. On the play, we get to destroy their first land. And then hopefully, turn three, Thorn of the Black Rose. Need a another Swamp or a uh, Dark Ritual and we can get there. No bridge. Okay. Now oh, that's scary. Oh no. Okay, so we can kill two of these creatures, but then we don't have any mana left. That kind of sucks. I think we'll just take the one here. We don't know if they're hut dogs yet. Maybe they want to snuff out a kiln fiend. Yeah. All right, let's see if we can draw a swamp off the top. We get a peat bog. And I'm going to snuff out this kiln fiend right now so they don't have access to uh, protection magic. If you're feeling brave, though, you can wait until opponent has cast a bunch of magic spells um, to pump up their Kiln Fiend before you use remo your removal. But then, you know, if they keep a mana up and have uh, a blessing, um, you'll be sorry.
All right, well, since they already have a mana up here, we're going to hold the cast down, try and hit that Kiln Fiend um, during combat. See if we can take it down. Let's see, what do we got in the sideboard? Any Innocent Blood? I do. Okay, got a pair of Innocent Blood here. Duress seems okay. Arms of Adar, Debt to the Kami. Definitely got some good cards available. TBR. Now this is lethal. Do they have protection? Looks like they do. GG. Land destruction wasn't working out too well there. But uh, we've got a ton of removal to bring into the deck, so let's do that. Hey, handsome. What's up? Enjoying your day off? Thinking I want to probably move away from land destruction a little bit here. Just really focus on removal versus hot dogs. You are up at six. All right, all right. Sleeping in. Sounds good. Um, we could bring in... A bunch of these duress. Arms of a Dark could be useful as well. Kills two-thirds of their creatures. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Not liking that hand as a starter. I mean, not really liking this one either. But we could potentially get a turn two Battle Rager out with Snuff Out Backup. Let's keep it. Hope we get lucky here with a Swamp on top. Kind of stalled out here. There we go. Turn one creature again. Don't like that. Let's see if we can uh, hit that land. I'm going to take this thing out immediately. It's probably going to do 4 damage over the course of the game, so let's get rid of it. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that really sucks. Punished for keeping a one land hand. What can you do? Put more lands in your deck, Cooper. Oh, now the land destruction is looking really good. And now we can't draw to it because I took it all out. 
The land destruction would be awesome here. Bolt me. Now we get to play Battle Rager. Oh, I should have held that. So next turn we can put two counters on this and then unexpected fangs and another counter on it start gaining four life a turn okay they're going to concede here oh bring the fumes in too late okay i think we got it Our one lander was better than their one lander. Well, we we eventually drew lands. They didn't. Yes. Yeah. Always be the villain. So remember everybody, pack your ginger brutes, pack, pack your changeling outcasts. This is more Ponza than Ponza. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ugh. Okay, that's a lot of creatures. Maybe we can get them with Arms of Adar? Don't exactly have a ton of time here. We can snuff out the Kiln Fiend, but Arms of Adar answers the Kiln Fiend. Whereas, like, snuff out answers the Crasher. Well, now we have Spinning Darkness, so we can get rid of the Crasher that way. Yep. Spinning darkness for you. We'll do this after combat, so if they have mutagenic to save the crasher, they don't get extra damage on the swift spear. Nice. Nice. Doxman, hello. Yeah, the five toughness is pretty big deal.
They could probably do some stuff with Lava Dart, but they'd have to sacrifice a mountain. Okay, well, they have another one, so... Not that big to lose a third mountain, I guess. Although third mountain is where you can play a Kiln Fiend and have protection up. So it's not like it's nothing to get rid of that mountain. I also got the Cunning here, so if they use Cunning, I can Arms. Oh, the Lightning Bolt. Lightning Bolt plus Lava Dart kills my uh, Battle Rager. Yeah, Swifty is definitely pretty good for uh, the initiative, having Haste, being able to attack as soon as it comes into play. But uh, getting punished pretty hard here. Opponent able to take the initiative from me, thanks to a uh, timely lightning bolt draw. Well, let's try again. Might have lost the torch, but now we have the crown. Which way? Lost Well to try and find removal for Thorn? Forge to make a bigger Swift Spear? Tough choice. Chooses Forge. It's going to be an absolute nightmare if they have another Lightning Bolt here. Well, I think if they had both, they would have used it. Well, what do they have? Plays Mountain. And plays Satyr's Cunning. So maybe we can hold up Suffocating Fumes and then block their Swift Spear next turn. Oh, wow, they're attacking. Uh, yeah. Guess I block. And, uh, I can't... I can't tap out here. I need to protect the Monarch. No, the initiative is being used against me. I've done this to myself. Sater's Cunning really showing off here. Easily able to cast this turn after turn, and I need removal every turn to keep the crown. Meanwhile, they have the uh, the initiative, so they aren't exactly falling behind. Oh, here we go. 
That's a really good draw. Take the initiative back, have a blocker. over the scry here find some more removal we got a sweeper yeah we also get an extra creature this way in catacombs and um, we can actually goad their creature into attacking oh wow yeah actually that just takes the initiative back and the monarch yep but we'll uh arms of adar here sweep the board, and uh, take both back with an attack. Yeah, yeah, initiative is a great reason to stick on Swift Spear. And then also... Um, what is that? The uh, the Changeling Outcast, uh, I think, is the right play in Mono Black Burn right now. Just having, you know, access to a creature that has Unblockable seems amazing. Um, Ginger Brute seems really, really good right now as well. Now they have nothing left to goad, so let's stash. Make a treasure here. Crypt Rats. I don't think the Crypt Rats are going to be too useful here with us being at 6 life. We are actually in danger of uh, dying pretty quick. I mean, if they get the initiative again... Throne of the Dead 3. Bunch of critters. But we got bunches of removal. Radiant Fountain, gain some life, nice. Chainer's Edict you. And four, five, six, seven, yeah, we can Chainer's Edict again next turn. Although they will have... Oh, that's Satyr's Cunning sticking around. Pretty good for them. But we do have the Crypt Rat, so worst case we could take care of that. Although we would take care of our Skeleton at the same time. Innocent blood, nice. Ooh, yeah, if this had gain five, that would be a really nice uh, stop in the Undercity. Stop to recharge. We call it short rest. Come on, play that kiln fiend. You know you wanna.
right, cast down here. They're going to save it with uh, Apostle's Blessing. Okay, Throne of the Dead 3. What do we find? A giant fish. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we could go for Chainer's Edict Innocent Blood. Yeah, attack first would have been a good idea. Get an extra point of damage. But we managed to get there. The value, the initiative, the monarch, turn after turn, uh, really got us there. Uh, this is a nope. This one's fine. We'll keep it. Ooh, top four. Nice. I think this uh, list could be pretty nice, modified into a no-band list. Get to play Sinkhole and Himtaturak. Seems like that would be pretty good. Nice. All that landy. Now we just need them to play a Karoo. No Karoo. Watched your vid with uh, Green Red Initiative because I'm too cheap to buy the new cards yourself. I haven't taken a look at the prices lately. Have they been uh, going up or down? <sighs> Spinning Darkness, one card away from killing the familiar. Wow, eight ticks for a Battle Rager still. Stop playing islands. Oh shit, I was supposed to Spinning Darkness this. That was a mistake. Fuck. And one mana off of playing both? Have we played a land yet this turn? We haven't, so we can get both.
So we Rancid Earth the island again. Attack in with both critters. They can only block one. Ooh. Better card to blow up. Ooh, snuff out. Nice. Think this think this should be GG. No, we're playing it out. Modern age. Will be a good way for them to take the uh the torch and crown back. But we're gonna be able to keep it for a couple turns before this can attack. Wow. Satan Raken is just not having it. This is not the matchup for you, my friend. I'm just missing a dark ritual. They can close the game faster with five life loss. It is a win condition. You also venture when you ephemerate. That's very true. Yep, very, very true. So when you have these ephemerate loops, you can use one of your ephemerates to uh, target, of your, target your initiative creature, just keep on progressing down the, uh, down the dungeon, get there quick. Not a dark ritual. Now they get to hold up Counterspell. Oh, no. They're playing an initiative creature on turn two. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, well. At least we get to Ice Quake them, but they're going to be drawing a land here. Uh, not quite the Mirror. They're they're playing Demir. We're uh, Black Land Destruction. But it is uh, initiative matchup. And look at that, because they're not playing a snow land, they don't take the extra damage. Way to use the new cards, opponent. Anything going Dark Ritual Initiative is the same. Uh, uh, they have some of the same cards, yes. We know they have a land, right? They got a land from Secret Entrance. There it is.
Yeah, so our stuff was in the wrong order. We needed Peat Bug early so we could play this turn one. And then turn two, we could Ice Quake their Contaminated Aquifier immediately. And then we could have played Thorn on turn three. Didn't quite work out that way. And opponent has kept the initiative for a while here. It's going to be pretty tough to come back into this. Especially with them holding up a counterspell here. Gonna die to this thing. They're about to go to the throne. Okay, we needed removal. Uh, then again, like, we kill this, they still are going to the throne. We have no way to take the initiative back right now. Oh, I could have played Gurmag Angler there. Or at least a way to take the initiative. Um, one of the problems with Curve is it just doesn't really have a lot of creatures, so you're going to have a really hard time stealing the initiative back. But you might be able to play just a very similar deck that is just playing four sneaks and maybe some Shreks instead of um, Curve Fling. Just be, you know, like, is it initiative? I know, right? What's the point, even?
Hmm. Kind of feel like we're already playing some really good cards for this matchup. Just, you know, the opponent uh, got their initiative creature out first. So I'll take out Suffocating Fumes, maybe bring in Debt to the Kami. I want the Crypt Rats. Hello. Just wondering if I want any copies of Duress. Sort of do. Not sure what I would take out for them, though. Because, you know, like, early Duress, take their Dark Ritual, kind of strand them with no lands. That would be pretty nice. <laughs> yep, super annoying to play against. Brook of Deem, see so you have the manas to open a chest? Let's take care of that. Just going to submit the deck here and then we'll open the chest. If the screen will switch, what's going on here? Ah, oh, come on, here we go. I gotta rip one of these open. Let's uh, let's see what's inside. Ooh, whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Hadi Jin Avatar, Ball Lord of Murder. Uh, four four. As long as your life total is less than or equal to half your life total. Ball Lore of Murder has Indestructible. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature and goad it. And also Loyal Warhound, a three mana two, sorry, a, a two mana three one Vigilance. When Loyal Warhound enters the battlefield, if opponent controls more lands than you, search your library for basic planes. Cool. Put into the battlefield, tapped and shuffle. Classic card. Uh, five play points. Shaddix Silver Quill, a 2-5 Legendary Elder Dragon, flying double strike at the beginning of combat of your turn, you may choose two. Each mode must target a different player. Target player creates a 2-1 uh, white and black inkling, target player draws a card, loses a life, target player puts a plus one, plus one, counter on each creature they control. Weird. And then also Martial Coup, Sorcery... Uh, create X-1-1 one, one white soldier creature tokens. If X is five or more, destroy all other creatures. Neat. All right, uh, let's head back into this game. And I got a hat over here. Renera Bedla. Thanks for using all your points. We Vikings now. All right, this is the kind of hand we're looking for. Keep this. All right, don't dispel me. Um... You can kind of, you can set yourself up to look a bit like a Viking, yeah. 
Yep, there's some Viking uh, equipments, Viking weapons. Yeah, opponent going second. What a huge mistake. They find a Dark Ritual. They might be able to play their own initiative creature next turn. We can play Thorn this turn too? And we can snuff this out. Oh, this is pretty good. Yeah, so I'm expecting Dark Ritual Era Krokra. Okay, uh, so we got four, five, not going to be able to Gurmag Angler here. Just pass back. Uh, another sneak. We have a cast down to take care of it. Take the initiative right back. And this whole time we've kept the Monarch. Yep, that's enough for a concession. So now we have to uh, now we have to play this on the draw. Not looking forward to it, but we got to play the first two times, so it's only fair. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, one hundred percent. The um, dark ritual. It's pretty much been like a combo piece. But um, been making a real big comeback where you're able to like turn to get such huge value that's just going to continue out through the game. It's worth it to sacrifice that one card for the fast mana. I'm actually considering keeping this. Like we have the turn one duress. We have Knight's Whisper if we draw a single land in two turns. It's just so risky. Okay, I like this actually. Can play Peat Bog and then turn two. We have um Oh. Okay, I guess we have Rancid Earth then. I thought we had initiative. We don't. Uh, let's get rid of the snuff out since we can't cast it, I guess. This is not not a great hand. We'll work with it though. Swamp, so we can duress? No. All right, fingers crossed. They don't have initiative immediately. Okay, phew. 
They don't immediately have initiative. Just pass the turn. Don't play a land, just pass. Hey oh. Ooh, they don't play a land. Critical mistake. Guess we take the uh the dark ritual here. <laughs> we don't even need to ask. Yes. Yeah, we are the baddies. Yes. Another peep bog. Oh, wow. They didn't cycle. I figured for sure the Ash Barons was to cycle another Ash Barons there. Ponza with initiative and the Monarch. Yes, indeed. Hmm. So we could kill their colorless land, but it would cost us a peep bog? I think I'd rather try and keep that mana for like an initiative or monarch creature. Another land destruction spell. Be happy to be firing these off if I had some swamps. Oh no! Oh no! Now because we didn't destroy their land... They're going to be able to play their Battle Rager. This is where it all comes crashing down. Ugh. What is with these draws? What, you don't like land destruction in your land destruction deck? Come on. Can't even snuff out. No swamps. Ugh, come on. <laughs> oh, this sucks. I hate this is how that this is how we lose the uh potential trophy, but is what it is. Just not playing enough swamps. Uh, if I want to cast a spell, I lose my only land.
Yeah, I would say so. We're going to scoop him up here. Yeah, sure. Turn one land destruction into Night's Whisper. Wonder how Cycle Storm takes land destruction. Probably not very well. Oh yeah, they didn't like that, did they? Land destruction looking pretty good when the opponent's deck doesn't have very many lands. We also have some good sideboard cards with uh, Spellbomb and uh, maybe Duress. Ooh, Thorn of the Black Rose. Yes, please. Was going to play Gurmag Angler for the clock. I like drawing cards. Oh, they found another land. Let's see if we can find another land destruction spell. Hmm, not this time. I want to play Crypt Rats. I have to tap the Peat Bog. Nice. That's what I was looking for. Some more land destruction. Get rid of that swamp. Enemy number one. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, yeah, we have lethal here. Meanwhile, they're going for it. I mean, we've done the best that we can. We Killed a bunch of their lands, but uh, they still have a chance here. Kind of want to cast this down. Keep them from making a bunch of colored mana for their, uh, their stuff. I guess we let this target first so they can't target the uh, Blood Celebrant. So yeah, they make a bunch of mana in response. A bunch of colored mana.
Songs of the Damned. Cast Songs of the Damned again. They've got a million mana. They're doing it. Yeah, that was my plan for the snuff out so that I could play the spinning darkness. Seems like they're just going to kill me in response to the snuff out, though. Not even gonna have a chance to use a spinning darkness now. Jeez. Slow down. Wow. Down to one here. One more cycle and we're dead. Kill their creature. Oh, that that's the one more cycle and we're dead. GG. Got punished by the snuff out. I figured like that's was my out. Kill their creature. And then I could spinning darkness the next one. But now they're like, oh well, you're gonna lose four life. I'll kill you right now. Good game. Alright, let's bring in the duress and the spell bombs. Take out suffocating fumes. Take out Chainer's Edicts. Probably take out the Crypt Rats. I'm fine with keeping some removal. Probably don't need very many, but like also there's a bunch of cards here that just don't really fit with what we're trying to do. I think we can keep it as is then. Don't really have anything to bring in for the snuff outs anyway. Uh, we don't have any fast mana. We only have the one land. Like spell bomb is fine, but otherwise this hand is kind of garbo. I like this hand though. Definitely keep this. We got to turn to Battle Rager. I don't think Life Gain is very good versus Cycle Storm. They, they just keep on going, right? Like, it's a combo. It can go for a while. Oh, Dark Ritual on turn two. Jeez. Oh, that is a lot of cycling. No land? Nice, no land. It's exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. Uh, let's go for Forge here. Try and get the clock going. Can't go infinite, but can probably do more damage than life we can gain.
Throne of the Dead 3. Let's get a giant Gurmag Angler. That'll finish off the game right quick. Choking Sands the Island. Oh, is the deck command not working? Let me check and see if uh, I can get Stream Decker Bot back into the channel. Okay, so the deck command should work now. This one's no good. Ah, this one's tough. It's another peat bog hand. But we have card draw with Night's Whisper. I think I'll keep it. Get rid of one of the rituals. We have four mana. We go Dark Ritual, Choking Sands, Spell Bomb. Choking Sands, Duress. Does mean we cannot target this, but we can target that. Can also Dark Ritual again, then we get to Knight's Whisper this turn. Maybe we hit a land. No land. I'm gonna play Spell Bomb. Use this opportunity to get it on the table. Pretty hard for them to beat uh, Graveyard Hate. Nice. Good draw. Cool. Take their Reaping the Graves. Uh, which one are you, are you talking about the deck I'm playing here? Uh, Black Ponza? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Now we can rage. Ah, okay, yeah, the enemy. Uh, the opponent is playing Cycle Storm. Excellent deck. I've played it a couple times on the channel. And uh, Bryant Cook uh, is a very excellent pilot with a deck. Has done a lot of uh, a lot of work on it. Definitely check them out if you're interested in Cycle Storm. Oh, Zubera Storm, that tech was awesome.
I kind of feel like they already have so many car so many lands here. I think I'd rather just duress and hold up the spell bomb. And they scoop. Spellbomb is difficult to, difficult to deal with. And along with the Undercity here, it's uh, quite a bit of advantage. So opponent scoops it up. Oh, we were going to be able to play Gurmag Angler next turn. That was going to get the clock going. I guess we can keep this. Doesn't seem great. Uh, what was round two? Was that when we were playing against Satan Rakin? Lonely Sandbar. That's interesting. Dark Ritual. So we could actually just kill this right now? Seems fine. Okay, yeah. So yeah, we were playing against Satan Rakin. They were playing Familiars. Um, we played through most of a game. Rakin realizes that I'm on a uh, mono black land destruction monarch initiative deck and left didn't want to play anymore Probably going to want to cycle these suffocating fumes, try and find a land so we can continue playing our land removal spells. I found another land removal spell. I want a land, though. There we go. There's a land. Yeah, we did lose versus uh, Blue Black Initiative. I think that was round three, though. Yeah, good use for a counter spell there. Finds a dark ritual. Ooh, we're going to want to blow up that ice tunnel, that's for sure. Which means we need to use Rancid Earth, because that's a swamp. Oh, they just have a swamp. Damn it. Now they're going to be able to put the initiative out. And we can't snuff out a Battle Rager. Ah, uh, we pay the two. We don't have enough for Thorn anymore. <laughs> yep yeah that seems to be the way we've lost to an initiative deck so far and that's it
Although we also lost to our draws, to be honest. Just didn't find our lands. Okay. So we can snuff that out. Play Thorn. And then we have a blocker for the Battle Rager. Don't have a blocker for this, though. I think we're I think we're dead here. I think we're dead. Almost have uh, the threshold for rancid earth here, which could kill the skeleton token. What are we going to do here? I think we want to take out some number of snuff out, some number of spinning darkness, since it doesn't hit most of their creatures. It's, well, I guess it hits the Aarakocra with snuff out. We can hit the... Um, yeah, we got a couple targets. I think these can come out, bring in duress. So we can try and duress, hit their dark rituals, get our uh, initiative out first. It's a plan. So we have turn two, land destruction. Turn three, thorn. Guess this is a problem if they play a swamp first. But if that's the case, we can play Duress White Knight's Whisper on turn uh, turn two. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Bunch of preordains and a dark ritual. And spell pierce. Yeah, no lands. I think I might actually want to take the Spell Pierce so that they cannot counter me using Choking Sands next turn. They're probably going to just preordain, though. So maybe we just take Dark Ritual. Keep them as far away from the Sneak as possible.
Ah. Now they get to keep up spell peers. Battle Rager, so we get to draw the land. Spell Pierce. Uses an Ash Barons. Gets another island. Ooh, Stormbound Geist. That's a really good one. Doesn't block our creatures, but... Uh, yeah, takes the, um, the initiative, takes the Monarch, no problem. As they're taking the initiative, they manage to go get a land, which kind of invalidates a lot of what we were doing. Lets them play the sneak. Stormbound Geist is looking really good. Can't really kill it. Just takes the initiative back turn after turn. So we have six mana here. We could actually go like Choking Sands, Ice Quake. Uh, alternatively, we could go Thorn Knight's Whisper. Oh, well, they lose five life there. keep punishing their mana base here. And I mean, they can keep blocking to keep me from getting the... Uh, to keep me from getting the initiative, but they lose 5 life every time they do that.
I don't like that. Haven't been playing the Thorn of the Black Rose because I don't want the opponent to get the Monarch. We're not going to be able to keep it. Can't even take the, un the, in the initiative back here. Aw. I was using that creature to win. Now I've lost it. I'm going to lose. How about another land destruction spell? How about that? Bom dia! Yeah, we lose. GG. Now we managed to get through that league. 3-2. Only took 90 minutes. That was really surprising. Alright, so this is the deck we were playing today. Uh, Black Ponza. Definitely had a lot of fun with it, but I feel like uh, there's definitely a few weaknesses. The mana base is uh, pretty sketchy. The the Peat Bog, while it can get us that you know fast mana to get a uh, a turn two um, land destruction spell out, or you know with a uh, with a Dark Ritual and two lands, we can put out um, Thorn of the Black Rose or Vicious Battle Rager. Um, on the other hand, we're we're losing those Peat Bogs pretty quickly. So it's leaving us with uh, very few lands towards the late game, and that's kind of painful. Uh, I'm wondering maybe the deck just needs more lands, even though we have the Dark Rituals in there. You know, maybe bump it up to uh, 13 Swamps instead of 11. Um, we would have to take some cards out. That would be difficult, but it uh, might be worth it. Um, yeah, otherwise I think that... Uh, it's a very interesting strategy. Um, I think this is my first time actually playing Black Ponza, so it was really fun. Um, I mean, besides, like, in the, I played it a little bit in the tournament practice room, but this was the uh, the first leagues that I've done with the deck. Yeah, definitely enjoyed the play style. Um, if you're into, you know, like, um, making your opponent just, like, really, really frustrated or depressed or making your opponent want to quit the game of Magic, then this might be the deck for you. Um, between blowing up all their lands so they can't play the game and then uh, having the Monarch and the Initiative so that we get to do more stuff, uh, yeah, this, this deck was super fun. And I think that it could also uh, potentially be altered into a pretty strong no ban list pauper deck since you would get access to him to turak and sinkhole in the list i think that um probably no ban list black decks are going to be looking a little bit like this in the future